Hello Keto family, it's a beautiful day down here in South Louisiana. My name is Barry Golio, and I am the Cajun Keto Chef. Today I'm going to have my good friend over here, his name is Frank, the low carb cocktail guy. We are going to have a little cook off, we're both going to do chicken wings, I'm going to do it old school, cook it in a black iron pot, lard and cook it on gas and my good friend Frank is going to be cooking on an air fryer. That's an air fryer. Catch <laughs> what? So we'll be doing mine in an air fryer. And this uh, kind of really quick how this came about is I was talking to Barry one day about doing some food videos on my channel, The Low Carb Cocktail Guy, on YouTube. So make sure you check that out. Quick little plug. Yes, sir. <laughs> and um, so he was telling me about his and I was talking about mine. And then he came to my house not too long ago and tried mine. And then he's like, uh, these, aren't, these aren't fried chicken wings. And uh, so I beg to differ. So we decided, let's go head to head. So he, like he said, he's got the cast iron, big cast iron, black iron pot thing. It's ways, I don't want to get hit with it, that's gonna knock you out. <laughs> or that too. <laughs> and um, he, like I said, some lard. It's the way, the way your grandma used to make your chicken wings down here in the South. And um, me, I'm using buttons and electricity in my air fryer. So um, I'm gonna be doing a butter seasoned rub and Barry's gonna be doing a Cajun spicy butter sauce. So let's go ahead and rock and chop and get it done. Let's go. All right, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it simple today. We're gonna add a Cajun seasonings that I made up and all it is is get one tablespoon out. That's the only thing you're gonna need. Two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of black pepper, one of onion powder, one of cayenne, one of oregano and one of uh, thyme. So, and you can salt it exactly how you want. Some people don't want salt, you're good to go. All right, so we're gonna start out with one tablespoon and see what it looks like. And we're gonna get it started here. Pour a little naked wings here. Oh, it looks like one tablespoon is good. So anyway, we're gonna let that sit for a moment and then we're gonna start frying. All right, so now it's my turn. Okay, starting with naked wings, uh, just like Barry did with his. Um, you know, keeping it keto, keeping it low carb, we're not gonna do any of the breading. With mine, I'll be using Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Seasoning and a little bit of salt and pepper blend. So, put a decent amount on that because the Buttery Steakhouse Seasoning is not very salty. And uh, unlike Barry, I have no idea how many tablespoons I use, I just, Shake it until I think I'm done. This is why I don't do cooking videos because I can't give you a recipe because I don't know what the hell I did. Same thing, I'm gonna toss those in the seasoning. Now this is the one thing I'm gonna say um, about air fryer versus deep fryer is air fryer is gonna take a lot longer. That's only a little bit more in here. The air fryer wings are gonna take at least 24 minutes, uh, 12 minutes each side at 360 degrees on your air fryer. Deep fried wings, you drop them in, they usually come out an uh, average of uh, less than 10 minutes. So, mine are done, batteries are done. So we're gonna go ahead and fill mine in the air fryer because they're gonna take the longest. So we'll be right back. All right, so here we are at the air fryer. So I have an Instant Pot of Vortex. Um, so on air fry, I already have it set for 12 minutes and 360 degrees. So open up your basket, you're gonna put your wings in. Make sure you leave some space for the airflow to come through. If you put too many in it, too many Indians? We haven't even drank yet. Man, I'm ready. <laughs> right. Too many wings in at a time, you're at, not gonna have the airflow and they're not gonna cook evenly or even get crispy. So this is a dozen wings, it usually fits in perfect. So there's a dozen wings in the air fryer. And we're starting. So that, like I said before, is this is gonna be 12, 12 minutes on each side. And uh, it takes a few minutes to get warmed up. I let it cook during that time. Some people don't, some people say let it preheat. Um, I use that preheat as part of my cooking time um, to each their own. But uh, like I said, this is gonna take 24 minutes. Um, so I, I, no oil, but it takes longer. So we're gonna go ahead and come back. Um, when Barry's wings are done, we'll have a taste test between the two. But in the meantime, it's time to get our drinks on. Oh yeah, Friday. All right, and we're back. So right now, um, we're waiting for my air fryer wings to finish their first 12 minutes. 
So um, I'm a low carb cocktail guy. I would not be here and not make a cocktail. I don't think I could actually do that. No, and it's Friday. It's Friday. So um, we're, while we're waiting for this to wrap up, because what's gonna happen, as soon as my wings are finished, their first 12 minutes and then we flip them. Barry's gonna drop his wings and then get his butter sauce going. So before that, let's go ahead and make a drink. So I figured, you know, the Cajun Keto chef, I'm gonna be bringing the Cajun Keto vodka. Uh, JT Mellick, it's a local vodka made here in Louisiana out of Branch, which is just outside of Lafayette. Um, so, uh, crawfish and rice on the label. There you go. You can't get any more Louisiana. It says Louisiana on the bottom. All right. So what we're doing is this is going to be a spin on a lemon drop. Lemon drop is vodka, lemon juice, simple syrup, and uh, triple set. So we're going to kind of go over this real quick. Make this real quick. We're making two. So for one recipe, for one cocktail, cut this down. But we're building two, one for Barry, one for me. So we're doing four ounces of our JT Belly Vodka. Again, if you're making one for yourself and you're drinking alone, you got bigger issues. So we're going to go with our simple syrup now. We're going to go two ounces of a simple syrup just made with, with allulose. So there is zero carbs in our simple syrup. Next, you would normally use a triple set in your um, lemon drop. We'll be doing a spin on it using a blue curacao, which is just orange liqueur dyed blue. And this is mine I make for myself. And um, if you check out my channel, I do have a video on how to make a triple set and just add some blue food coloring. The sweeten with allulose, so again, zero grams of carbs. Two ounces of this. And next, can't have a lemon drop without lemons. So we want fresh lemon juice. We're gonna do one ounce of fresh lemon juice. Now one ounce of fresh lemon juice is gonna have two grams of carbs. But remember, this recipe is for two cocktails. So normally, uh, this recipe of a lemon drop for one person would have half a gram of carbs in it. Oh, lemon right. juice squirting everywhere. These lemons are hard. I don't like juice in them. There's my one ounce. One ounce of some fresh lemon juice. We already have ice in this shaker. Shake it up. I'm starting to feel like the rock and chop now, my brother. Rock and chop! There you go. Rock and <laughs> chop, put some there. There you go. All right. And now we're going to strain this into two glasses. Nice little color blue there. Add a little bit of lemon oil from the skin. Right in there, squeeze, pinch the lemon. Rub it on the outside, drop it in, same thing. Squeeze the skin, break some of the oils out the skin. Rub it on there, and there you go. A blue lemon drop, call it what you want. I'm calling it tasty, I'm sure it is, Mr. Barry. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get going. All right. Oh that's my it. God. That's that's it. It's, I, I think it's the JT Millet personally, because it has a light little, because it is a craft vodka. Craft vodka is, usually not over distilled and they work a lot harder to get a good product. But it's got a little sweet vanilla note to it because it's not over distilled and it's made with Louisiana rice, 100% rice. So um, that sounded like... We're ready. Yeah, well, I got about four minutes left um, before I have to flip them. So I'm gonna flip mine and then we're gonna bring you over to Barry and his stove. Um, getting his butter sauce, his Cajun spicy butter. Spicy Cajun. Cajun, Cajun butter, spicy. yeah. Spicy it's sauce. Spicy with butter and it's Cajun. We're there you just go. gonna go with that. All right, guys. It might change after our next drink. <laughs> I don't know. You're right on side. All right, guys. So that's my first side. As you can see, like, nice and golden brown. Now, the other side, not so much. So that's why you do have to turn them when they're in the air fryer. So we're gonna flip all of these over. And then, looks like Barry's. Temperature's up on his um, oil, get his started. So we're gonna drop his in real quick. And then we'll say we should be finished roughly about the same time. Then he's gonna go ahead and create his butter sauce. And fry and start. And I said he's gonna start his butter sauce right after he drops them and we'll toss them in his butter sauce on Mr. Barry's. All right, let's see what, how we got over here, Mr. Barry. All right, our temperature right now is at 335. We're gonna hit it about 350. 
So we should be good, good to go here in a few moments. All right, we are almost there. It's at 346, so we're gonna get ready to drop these little naked wings in the hot oil. And you can see we're back to the 1800s, it feels like. This is an old cast iron. So everything I have, I have tons of cast iron, and I just love cooking in it. Of course, he's got the new technology, so we're gonna see. So we're gonna throw these in here, and we got the temperature probe to test, to see what temperature they are. We want them to be about 165-ish. So we'll be back in a few moments. All right, guys, I don't know if y'all can hear that. That's the sound of sizzling fried chicken. Now, I don't know, it reminds me of the sound that my wife has on her sound machine to help her sleep with the rainforest. I think I'm gonna write fried chicken instead of rainforest on her sound machine. Man, I'm ready to take a nap right now. Right? Uh -huh. All right, we got them up to temp. Look at these little suckers. They are going to be so good. Oh my God, I cannot wait. And I promise you, I am going to win this contest. I don't know about that. Oh yeah. I don't know about that. Old school, back in the 1800s. Oh my God, this has been tried and true for so many years. I know my grandma had this too. Yep. All right. I wish y'all were here to try it with us. And y'all can see who the true winner is. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rock and chop, get our Cajun butter sauce rolling, and we'll be right back. All right, we are getting ready to rock and chop. Let's see what the temperature is, good to go. We don't want it to be too hot. One stick of butter on the hot cast iron. Oh my goodness, what would your grandparents say? They would be so proud of y'all. All right, we're gonna heat this up and we'll be right back and we'll add the other ingredients. All right guys, so let me get over here. So you can see Look how brown those air fryer wings are. Those are nice and crispy. And you have the deep fry wings over here. They're not as dark, but I bet they're just as good, if not better. We'll find out coming soon. And I hate to say this, this actually looked prettier than mine. Let's go figure. Uh, ready for, all right, ready for garlic? yeah, put that garlic in there, my brother. Rock and chop. There you go. Ah, let's get all that off. Oh yes, that was three garlic cloves. We're gonna hit this up for about two or three minutes and then we're gonna add the other ingredients. We're gonna add some crushed red pepper. We're gonna add some hot sauce, a little bit of Worcestershire, which is about a teaspoon, a tablespoon of lemon, and my little good tasting cayenne pepper. The secret Cajun seasoning. So don't tell anybody the secret, but here's a hint. We did tell you at the beginning of the video. That's right. All right, there's the cayenne, I mean the uh... Cajun seasoning. All oh, right. look at that color that already. I like that color already. And then we're gonna add the lemon. That just looks Cajun. A little bit of Worcestershire. And you can't go without a little bit of red pepper flakes. And we're gonna add some more of that and our Tabasco. Oops, that's for us here. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all may not want that much in the other parts of the world, but we love a lot of spice. Anyway, I'm gonna let this roll for a few minutes and we'll be right back. This is one of my favorite uh, hot sauces. It's the Zatarans. We have many, many different ones here in Louisiana, but I've been using this one lately. So we're gonna go ahead and let that roll for a few minutes and see how it turns out. But you can look so and see. Let me ask you this, Barry. Why do you like Zatarans Cajun hot sauce over the other brands? It doesn't have as much of a, uh, how would I put it? A vinegar, it has more of a little bit of bite to it. So you like it more hot? Yep, I do. See, I like my hot sauce with a little more vinegar. That's why I like the, like the Louisiana brand hot sauce. Mm -hmm. I like that it's still got that pepper bite to it, but it tones it down. So if you're not looking for a super spicy hot sauce, what the Zatarans is, and that's what Barry likes, uh, I like Louisiana because it's still the hot sauce, but it, uh, a little more vinegar than it is cayenne. All right, we are done. We are ready to roll. So we're gonna add our chicken wings to your sauce. Oh, you're gonna add the sauce to the wings. I'm gonna head and I'm gonna throw the wings in first. All right. And then I'm gonna add the hot sauce on top and spin it around for a few moments, and then we'll be done. All right, awesome. 
And you have to have, for me, it's gotta have a lot of pepper. And let me find it, there we go. That's what makes it for me. And there's some cool things that you can also do, and I'm gonna do some videos on this, is we're gonna make a homemade remoulade sauce. Oh, that will just knock you out. I love remoulade sauce. Oh, I, yes. put that on, I put that on fries. Yep. I put that on everything. Oh, you do? I want remoulade sauce on everything. There you go. Everything. But you can see, this is gonna be so, oh my God, this is gonna be so beautiful. You got that butter, you got this, this pepper, the garlic, the lemon. Those are pretty. Oh my God, these Those are Those are pretty. Your taste buds are gonna explode. If they never exploded before, they're gonna explode today, my friends. All right, my friends, we are done. As you can see, they both look, oh my God, they both look beautiful. They color is good on them. They're both like nice golden brown, uh, a little more brown than the golden side, but perfect coloration on how I like my wings. Yours, I would say because the, the red pepper flakes, adds really nice appeal to it. It's, it. it's like, mine just look like wings. But honestly, but I think cause you get the butter sauce on it, so uh -huh. the light hits it, so it's got a little glisten, glisten to yep. it. It glistens really nice. And those red pepper flakes add a little bit of texture to the appearance. Um, it was beautiful. It was yep. absolutely beautiful. And you gotta have oh, a little as bit. As I say, he drops more on. Yep. Okay. It's gotta have a little heat, my friend. I see that. It's Friday. It's hot Friday. Hot Friday. There you go. All right, you ready to do some testing, my brother? Let's get and taste these. All right, all right, we are ready to taste. Both of them look beautiful. I'm gonna let him go ahead and do the first one. Go well, ahead. I'm gonna go to yours first. Okay. I've had mine before, so I'm definitely, nah, I'm going with a drum. Come here, let's see. Mmm. 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 There it is. There you go, my brother. There it is. All right. It sneaks up on you. That heat sneaks up on you. This, yeah, but, but no, I'm glad it does. Because what I look for in a chicken wing is I do want to taste the chicken. I don't want the flavoring, whatever the sauce or whatever is overpowering, and it doesn't. So I get that nice, juicy, juicy chicken and the crisp on the skin, very crispy. Um, it's perfect. And that flavor comes in behind it, so that's really good. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on yours. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. I still can't believe this is the first time I've had an air fried chicken. You heard the crunch? I heard the crunch from here. I don't want to tell you this, but this is pretty doggone good. Mm. I bet you this would taste awesome in my sauce. Go ahead and bring some of that over here. Let's try it. Uh huh. Toss around some of that sauce. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, that is, is that yours? Hey, I'm gonna throw one in for me. All right. Oh my God. Yeah. But but I want to do this first. I okay. get here's a sauce on 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 my wing, but I want to try one of my wings compared to one of yours. Which before I do that, now this is a little drier. I don't think it's as juicy, but. The flavor of chicken is a little more pronounced. Where this is a good balance between the sauce and the spices and the mm -hmm. butter and the chicken is a really good balance. I think the flavor that I, the seasoning I put on it's there. Are y'all licking your fingers? I know I am. It's finger licking good Friday. Mm-hmm. Now, but overall, I'm gonna say which one tastes better? Talking strictly cooking methods, deep fried over air fry. I will say deep fried is more like what you're used to drinking, fry, uh, eating fried chicken. It's a little juicier. Um, that, that oil, the lard that he uses, soaks into that meat so you keep a, a juicier wing on the inside. But let's go to the sauce. It knocks it up. Mega. Your taste buds are gonna explode when oh, you try this. This is delicious. I can't get over it. I might have to get me an air fryer. I don't have to make so much mess anymore. And that's fabulous. And that's the thing about this here, guys, is he got a big old pot to empty out and clean. And he got this, this big little splatter around his, I didn't got that. So with the air fryer, the ease of an air fryer, I, there, let's take the pros and cons. The pros of a deep fryer is juicier, it's got that, just that, that commonality of, hey, this is what fried chicken tastes like. Um, and the con is, it's a mess to clean up when you're done. Yeah. And um, air fryer, the ease of cleaning, 
super done. I, I threw my wings, don't make them done. The mess is really not there. I can throw that in the dishwasher. He, you gonna throw your cast iron pot in the dishwasher? Hell no. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as ease of making them, um, air fry your hands down, it's easier to make them. They're yep. very good. They're tasty, they're crispy. It's got a nice bite on the skin. Um, so pros and cons, I think they balance each other out. Ease of cooking to flavor the chicken, they're about what to what, to be very honest in my opinion. Um, when I put his butter sauce on mine, uh, it's it, a whole <laughs> game changer. Oh my God, I can live with that. Game changer. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love it. I'm impressed. I would have never thought I would even consider an air fryer. Never. I guarantee you, folks, if you don't have one, you might want to try it. All right, guys, well, that, that's it for me. We're going to have another drink in a minute. Yep. More vodka still. And we got a lot of wings. So, Mr. Barry, thank you for having me over. Thank you, my brother. And until uh, next time, guys, y'all have a good day. Because I know after this, I'll be having a good day. It's already started for me. It's already started. Mr. Barry, you didn't have it yet. All right, well, I appreciate y'all being here today. The, the Cajun spirits have blessed me, and I promise you, they're going to bless y'all. I want to tell y'all, booyah! Oop. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, booyah. <laughs> All, All right, right guys, take it easy.